I feel like I need to start this one with a nice smudge. It is like 8 a.m. here. I'm in my studio with the beautiful doors open and you may very well hear traffic going by in this little neighborhood of people heading off to whatever their day is bringing them. School drop off, work, whatever it might be. Or if you went to make yourself some toast and you had no butter and you had to go up to the shop just to get butter to make breakfast, which was me yesterday, I actually knocked on my neighbor's door. I said, can I have some margarine <laughs> butter? <laughs> but here we are, here we are. Now, this is a message about what our angels want to share with us right now. And I was, I was channeling and it was like, I need to do bells for this one. And it's like, we need to hear it loud and clear, ding, ding moment, right? Have you had a time where you've come up with an idea or someone said something and then you absolutely, your phone might ding or you hear a ding and it's like it grabs your attention to highlight whatever just happened. This is a ding, ding moment, guys. Ding, ding. So thank you for tuning in. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you haven't, I'm Connie Rose, Psychic Medium, and I bring you messages that I channel each week through my guides, through your guides, through our spirit team. And um, just to, you know, give us a little bit of light, right? Sometimes things can get very heavy. Sometimes they can get quite dark. Sometimes we can just go on spirals and it's very hard for us to pick ourselves up. So that's my intention to bring love and light to the collective one person at a time. And when I can do these videos, like, share, subscribe. But when you share them, it really helps those other people that didn't know that I was doing this. So please do that. I really appreciate it. And all your subscribers really mean a lot to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Maybe you don't get thanked enough. And that was just why you're here today for me to say thank you. I see you, I feel you, and I, I absolutely love the support. Well, let's get to it. Let's see what our angels need us to know right here, right now for our ding, ding moments. And choose bell one, two, or three. And check out my description with my upcoming events. And let's go. All right, bell number one. Jeez, I tell you, I just shift. Like, I was in my intro, I was very upbeat and I was into it. And as soon as I got into this energy, I was like, whoa, okay. It's almost like I've got spirit very close with me here. And they want to come real close to you, right in your face to say, hello, why are you ignoring me? Hello, why aren't you getting this message? So here we are with this YouTube video so that I can give spirit a voice for you because I know that they're right there and I feel as though I'm a little bit heavy in my head with this energy. It's like, oh, it's all too much. It's, I'm overwhelmed. Um, the system not working for me whatever that means this is a general reading take what resonates um whether my ears are ringing or everything's too bright it's like it's too much i'm overwhelmed i'm very heady so whether or not you've been going through a head cold or you've had a knock to the head or you know you're having interrupted vision or, or migraines it feels very much up here now that is physical but if you aren't getting the physical symptoms energetically i'm just it's too much the lights are too bright the sound is too loud you know, sometimes, like, for instance, my mum, she has hearing aids and she says, I can hear, I just can't understand. So we have to sort of direct one person talking at a time because the background noise is too loud. And I feel like that's very much happening in this energy. Um, so spirit's definitely here to say, yo, listen up, focus. Get back one thing at a time. I feel like there's too many things, too many things pulling you in different directions. So yeah, one thing at a time. Your your ding ding moment is listen up. One thing at a time and focus. I'm gonna pull out some cards, um, and I'll, I'll have a look at them in a second. So I'm pulling three cards out of this gorgeous little deck I have here, and the first one is a choice to make. 
Your second card is expand your universe. And the third card is knowledge is power. So you may feel like you're in a bit of a situation where you've got no choice. You feel quite stuck. It's too much. It's all overwhelming. I'm exhausted. There's all these reasons. Now, be very careful what you're focusing on because when you focus on how bad it might be or that, you know, feel like you're completely uh, at, a, at your wit's end, you know, you're at a crossroads, you're not sure which way to turn, so you'll prefer to turn to the past and run back there. Um, just be very careful because you're very powerful with your energy and we all know and i say it every week week in and week out wherever your focus goes your energy flows so we want to look at solutions for you rather than um what is going on that you feel stuck with or, or that type of thing so the thing is the first card you get there's a choice all great decisions are made with a clear choice there's a choice to be made. And, and look, it's the year of the dragon and we have the dragon here, but I also see that he's looking down at the fire. So it's almost like he's focusing on what he wants to maybe, that, that's, that he wants to walk away from. But I also see that it's in his hand. So he's creating it. So, in this card, I feel as though there's something here that you are wanting to walk away from, but it's in your own hands. The decision is in your hands and there's fire. Now, fire is passion. Fire, it can also be danger. Um, and it's perception, isn't it? What, what are we actually looking at? Um, so I feel like this, this decision is definitely in your hands. And so many people say to me when there's a decision to be made, oh, I've had no choice, I'm stuck. And the thing is, well, you do have a choice. It might not be one that you really want to go with. So I feel as though this is spirit saying, how many, how many times do we have to intersect to get your attention? And it feels as though, <laughs> I, I go to all different scenarios here, and I feel as though, like, if you're tired, and for instance, you wanna take some time off work, or they're saying, no, you can't put in leave because we haven't got enough staff, you can't take off time, and, and there's that type of um, constriction, restriction happening in this energy, and that's an example, but it feels as though that's the type of thing that's happened. Now, if this is not handled okay, you might end up with getting um, a, a, a flu, for example, and then you ring in sick. So it's like, well, I asked for leave, you didn't give it to me, so now I'm gonna get it this way. But there's there's choices to be made in this situation. Is it um, a employment that is actually serving you on your purpose? Is it making you feel fulfilled every time you, you go and give them your time, your blood, your sweat, and they're giving you all these restrictions? And it feels as though if you don't get what you want out of your employment, for example, you will make it happen in other subconscious ways that might not be for your highest good. So there's a decision. You may need to walk away. And I have given you an example. It's not going to fit for everybody, but it could be a relationship. You know, you might be in a relationship that is not going your way um, and you feel that you're quite stuck, but I can't keep away from the fact that he's got it in his hands. So it's in the palm of your hands. It's it's like, have a look at what you're playing. What role are you playing in, in the relationship? You feel like you might want to run away from it, but everything's rectifiable. It may very well be there needs to be a couple of tweaks in your behaviours and this could work out fine. So it may very well be that you might just have to say things like, I'm not, I'm not going to accept that behaviour anymore and actually speak up and give yourself a voice to make a few changes. Or it may be that you need to have a good look at yourself and realise that you're acting exactly how you don't want the other person in this relationship to act and and then you swap that out take those behaviors and reactions away or you're mindful about it and that starts dissipating and your relationship starts being easier flowier and starts being based on love rather than anger and fear and resentment and all these things 
And that doesn't have to be a loving relationship. I mean, you could not have a romantic partner at the moment and this still applies. It could be a relationship with a parent, a friend, a co-worker or yourself. But there's a choice to be made and it needs to be clear. It cannot be, I might do that, but have a backup plan. It's like there's no net here. It's make that decision. The next card is expand your universe. When you get clear, the universe will match that frequency, will match that vibration. And when you get clear, all the synchronicities will come at you. People will help you. You'll have conversations. You'll have downloads. You'll have dreams. You'll have connection. Um, but spirit is so pushing forward to connect with you at the moment. That's the real feel that I get here. And if you're, um, once you make that clear cut decision, you will see the synchronicities and they'll all come in. They'll all come in and help you on your purpose, on this journey, on this healing journey, whatever this is that you want to really create rather than being forced into a scenario, your reality, your, your timeline that may not be for your highest good. And it's time to make that decision that will literally switch a timeline and a new creation for where you're going next. Knowledge is power. So it could very well be that you're looking at your behaviours or what you've accepted and your lack of boundaries or your boundaries that are too tight or whatever it might be. And you're looking at that as a student and you can see what works and what needs a bit of a rejig or what needs new information and, and, and the study is there for you. And if it's if it's connection with spirit that you want to enhance then look at that look at um, opportunities where you can maybe learn more or start learning how to know when it's spirit communicating or if it's your mind because there's there's um, an education here and it could just simply be that you look at your past know what worked and know what didn't and that's enough education or if you want to enhance that connection that is a definite a definite spirit message for you today it's a ding ding moment it's a ding ding moment so if there's a course that you've been looking at and you've been pulled to it and you keep looking at it and you're like oh, i can't afford it or i haven't got the time all of a sudden once you make a clear decision it's going to work out for you you're going to find the money you're going to find the time you're going to make the time and just to tie this up for you my beauty oh hello dreams think big Think big, you've been in that restriction, so it's been hard to get creative. There are unseen forces ready to support your dreams. You cannot make this shit up, my darling. That is your message for ding, ding, number one. <laughs> hey, don't forget to stay to the end because I always give a free reading out every month and it is the month of March. So the competition has started again. So right in, oops, right below in the comments, to enter, which I'll tell you all about at the end. All right, bell number two. What is it that you need to hear now to get a ding ding moment? Aha, that's what this is, it's an aha moment. All right, let me feel into your energy. It's very different from number one. I feel like, are you working with symbols? Have you got symbols? I know that I've been teaching a um, spiritual healing with a quantum field course at the moment in person, and it's based on Dr. Joe Dispenza's meditations. And there's a meditation that he, the blessing of the centers. So I'm not sure if this is something new to you, or this is definitely what's coming through because you're up leveling to a space you've never been to before. So a lot of things will be unfamiliar. Um, even your reactions and behaviors will be surprising the shit out of you at the moment. Congratulations. So it's like you will find yourself in situations go oh usually it'll be like geez that escalated really quickly but at the moment it's like you step back or you observe and you just hold or you'll say something to diffuse situations you're getting very good so whether you're in a HR role or if you're an event planner or whatever you might be but you're really controlling the outcome based on who you are. So everything's reflecting your behavior at the moment and you've really pulled back and harnessed um, emotion and you're getting quite rational and it feels really nice. It feels like you're quite gliding in your relationships and, and in your self-talk at the moment. It's really, really lovely. Um, 
Yeah, how very interesting. All right, let's get some cards. So my point being, if you're up leveling to Reiki potentially and you've just made relationships with some symbols, um, it might be that you um, have done some meditations and the blessings of the centers, there is a meditation where Dr. Joe talks about giving a symbol to each of your centers um, which up levels the energy. If that doesn't make sense to you, then say I've had um, meditations before where it looks like uh, I'm just getting scrolls that just drop in front of me with all these symbols. And I have no idea what they are, but I know that I'm up leveling, upgrading. And I feel like that's very much happening to you at the moment. You're up leveling, up, up leveling, upgrading. And even if you are aware of these symbols, I know they're happening probably while you sleep. If none of this else makes sense, um, it would be happening as well while you're on the astral realms. You're, you're traveling, you're going places. Um, to up level in your dreams at the moment. So I'm just going to pull three cards out for you and let's see what they are. All right. So you've got process and absorb. Check that out. So gorgeous, these cards. The importance of sleep and expand your universe, which number one actually got that card too. But these, this is a very different reading, like process and absorb. So these symbols, I got to speak of the symbols. Um, uh, moving through you on a cellular level. They're almost like um, reprogramming your DNA. It's, uh, your strands of your DNA are just like, I can see, the visual I'm getting is that they're coming alive, they're um, sparkling. It's like you've got this energy or electricity moving through you because you're coming higher than where you've ever been before. So you can see things from a bird's eye view. You're getting closer to source. You're being able to be compassionate, seeing other people's points of view and, and really being the sounding board for others. But when you hear people speak, you're coming from a, a, a different angle where you're really thinking, if you don't agree with something, it's not like, oh my God, no, you're wrong. It's more like, interesting that you feel that way but it's not condescending it's like really interesting to you you're like how interesting that that person really believes that that's their truth how could that be so you're almost like doing it out of compassion and understanding and helping them see well that doesn't actually have to be the only way i can see how you feel that way but potentially there's other options for you and if that's where they're stuck you just leave them with it and go i see what you're saying i understand that's your truth when you're ready to unpack that or if you want to look at different options i've got a few different ideas but in your own time so you're not forcing yourself you're just oh it's just beautiful where you're at absolutely beautiful you would be vibing in people with that energy as well so you'd be meeting new people um so you're processing and absorbing your new frequency so it's very new to you very new to you this is somewhere you've never been before even though you've some of you have already been doing the work this is next level shit um, and like I said, a lot of these up levels and um, downloads, up levels and downloads, it's up and down, is happening in your sleep. So be sure to be having at least eight hours of solid sleep. If you're waking up at different hours, know the Chinese clock. So for instance, if we're waking up around three to four, that's our liver. So liver, we um, are trying to detox things. What is it? And if it's not the food or alcohol or anything, what is it that you may try to be detoxing? detoxing at the moment give your body detox pathways um, open them up through hydration through saunas potentially through um, the right salts in our diet salt is very important because it hydrates us it gives us the minerals that our bodies need to be able to have the um, cognitive um, ability to be able to break down our foods everything so it, a lot of people say sleep is important of course it is but i feel like your minerals might be lacking for a couple of you so make sure you've got your magnesiums your potassiums your hydration your electrolytes it's very very important for you to get balance at the moment um and look at the clock what time are you waking up because it feels as though there's a time that's specific to you it's 2 a.m. It's 3.30. It's 3.33, whatever it might be. I feel like there's a synchronicity of what time, which will give you a clue what you need to focus on to correct. And that will help you expand your universe. Absolutely expand your universe. 
The thing is with you is I feel like um, because you're coming from a point of view that is quite expansive anyway, a point of view which you have not been before. And it's not like it's not like you're sitting on a little perch looking down at everyone. That's not what I'm seeing at all. It's more like a lifeguard around a swimming pool. You're just sort of watching and, and observing that everybody else is safe and being there if needed, you're not forcing yourself on people. It's not a desperation. It's, it's not that type of thing. Um, but your real ding ding moment in this reading is that you are getting the symbols. You are upgrading. It is very foreign, but also very familiar. All right. It is very foreign, but very familiar also. So just you're on a real stream of excellence you're 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 really forging forward um to make all the difference now i love this energy just be careful to maintain it so what is it that you need to stay on track is it that you need some space to yourself is it that you need a night out with with your mates is it that you need um some you know you might need to take yourself to the movies i know that i saw a bob marley movie um that's just recently been released and i'm making i keep forgetting but i've got to make time to go and watch that and i've never gone to the movies by myself but i plan to so it might be stepping out of what you usually do just to do something for yourself without having to say, I need to do that with friends or I need to do that with someone or, oh, I couldn't do that. Take yourself out by yourself for a meal. Sit in a cafe, have a coffee and just observe and realise how far you've come because the amount of work that you've already done is showing up now. It may not have felt that um, it was worth it or you were going anywhere, but it's all showing up now so let it so get out of the way let this beautiful abundance flow and this is your card guidance ask for guidance the divine will meet your every need spirit is here very close to you the symbols are coming up you may even be feeling that there's a, a galactic uh, star seed type of planetary pool you might be feeling like there's more than just the earth that you want to be connecting with. The guidance can come from anywhere you ask, but make sure you ask, make sure you receive. It's there for you. And that, my darling, is your ding ding moment for this reading. Don't forget to stay to the end so you can have an opportunity to win a one-on-one -on -one reading with me. Well, aren't you an old soul? I need to slow down. Some of you may be thinking of um, even taking some time out here, whether it be you're planning a trip away or you might be even doing something like retiring or something like that. So I feel like there is a pause in this energy. You've been doing a lot. And it's interesting, I had a client yesterday and I said to her, are you working? She says, no. And I went, oh, sorry, excuse me. Let me change that. Are you working for money? She says, no. I said, exactly, because we're all working. Um, and it's, it's about the finances that make people think that you're working, you have a job. So it's like you have no worth unless you've actually got an income. Well, I call bullshit. I call bullshit. It's just because the world is set up to exchange money, exchange money. Now, I know the digital world is um, something that is uh, playing on you, playing on you. But I also know that we all signed up to be here in this day and age. So, for example, you may feel it uh, unsettling that your money is on the computer. It's just numbers. It's just digits. And the minute that uh, a solar flare sends an energy to the earth and we go offline for two or three or four days or even more, next thing you know, you don't have access to the internet, which means you have no money, which means you can't purchase food. It's a very real thing that you feel into Whereas a lot of people just take it for granted and don't realise that that is a thing that could happen at any moment, right? 
I know that you're aware of these things and I know that you plan. I feel like some of you have got, you know, tin food under the house. I feel like you've got um, fresh water ready to go, a generator, that type of thing. I feel like you're almost a, you know, what they say, a prepper what they call preppers and I don't feel like it's ex extreme it's not anything that um, plays on your mind it's just like you've just ticked a few boxes and it's a real nice energy of you being prepared if you need to be I also know that cash means a lot to you so I wouldn't be surprised if so you got a stack of cash in a sock I know my dad does <laughs> that. he has a sock of cash always as kids we used to find a sock and find cash constantly so that to me that's a normal thing right and I feel like you've got plan b always always a plan b a veggie patch all those things and you're realistic you're not obsessive and you're not pushing your thoughts onto people if they're not interested you just switch off the conversation and you know you're safe in your in your little circle and spirits are here to say well done and if this is something that you just thought about and not played the action to not actually made it um into fruition it's time to do that now it's time to do that now because you've already thought about it but i do see a trip for you a rest i see time off i see a holiday a cruise a move or something that brings you um respite absolute respite and you're an old soul you're wise it feels like you've been here before you know what to expect and that's why you're prepping that's why you know that there needs to be more than just the digital yeah okay some of you are probably probably living off grid and the fact that you're watching this youtube video right now is quite a treat <laughs> all right let's get some cards some guidance here all right, we've got, oh my gosh, I can't even turn this around. Cause and effect is your first card. I keep dropping the cards, which is interesting because I, hmm, okay, hang on. Open your mind. And an unfair judgment. Okay, your energy is very different. So even though I entered this reading by saying that, you know, you're prepared and, and you know, all those type of things, mate, I've been called a conspiracy theorist, theorist many times. But it's interesting because I'm only conspiracy theorist until it's proven. <laughs> and then I'm not. And I feel like some of you may be obsessing with what if. This is happening, that's happening. And I feel like spirit wants to come in and just say, you've ticked all the boxes, you're doing everything you need to do, take a chill pill. And it could be that even if you haven't got a holiday or, or a respite coming, it's time to do that just by getting off the treadmill of potentially looking at a lot of conspiracy theories, theories, going down rabbit holes, watching episode after episode of something that might not be of service to you, whether it be that you watch murder mysteries or you watch lot, lot missing people or, or something that you're watching over and over again to the point where you're thinking about it all day so there's a bit of an obsession feeling here so you might want to just a little bit of everything is fine but don't get caught up on a bandwagon of of stuff that hasn't happened yet um and you're on a rabbit uh, uh, what's it called a hamster wheel so just be very careful of that because we do have the cause and effect and it's it's making me feel like everything you do has an effect okay and and by now you know that i've been having a love affair with dr joe dispenser's meditations and I know that <clears throat> I watched something the other day where he said, when you're doing a deep meditation and you bring in the quantum field and in the quantum field, you've got any reality, right? You can create absolutely anything there. And he said, you might get a vision of something that you don't like. You get a vision of maybe someone becoming ill or an accident occurring or something like that. And he said the first time it happened to him, he spent about two or three days feeling really down and out, really worried that that was what going to happen because he saw it and then he realized that we're all the creators of our own universes and when you're working with the quantum field you can absolutely create whatever you want 
you see it and you have a heightened emotion that you already have it and that heightened emotion is energy and the universe will bring it to you quicker than you'll ever imagined. When you have a heightened energy of something really bad, you don't want to match that heightened energy with the reality of that. So you are the creator of your universe and in this energy I feel very nervous all of a sudden and I feel panicky like, <gasps> so know that wherever we focus, and we bring a heightened energy, we're gonna match that. So keep focusing on what you absolutely want because that's what you will get. Heightened energy that it is real for you. You can heal, you can have beautiful things, you can be safe in a world of corruptness, craziness. Because it's almost like we've got two absolute timelines happening at the moment. One is completely different to the other. I want to say governments, I want to say the people. They're two different things. Open your mind to the possibilities that this is your reality. You're not living someone else's life, you're living your own. I feel like spirit has to come in to give you a ding ding moment to say, jump off the hamster wheel. Start focusing on what you want because you can create your own bubble. I feel like you already are. But then all of a sudden the energy shifted. As soon as I pulled the cards, I was channeling you and then I got some extra in-depth and it just went left field. So make sure when you're focusing on things, you don't lose yourself in it because there is an unfair judgment card and it feels as though a lot of the times you've made up your mind how things are going to play out before they do. But no, if you're going to do that, make sure it's for the right reasons. As in, make sure it's what you want, not what you expect. Told you so. Knew they were going to say that. Knew that was going to happen. You don't want to do the victim thing. That's what your cards are showing. And it was really interesting because it was like, whew, it just flipped. Absolutely flipped. We don't want to flip. Oh, well, we do, as long as it's in the right direction. And just to tie this up, my darling, tie this up. You're, you're in good hands. You're in good hands. Tenderness. Speak gently to yourself. Cherish the child within. A little bit too much seriousness needs to just F right off. Time to have some fun. Play the music. Dance a lot. Have fun. Let yourself. And that is your reading for number three. Ding, ding. Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all those YouTube things, and check out my upcoming events in the description. And your opportunity to win a reading for this week, for this month, is I want you to pop in the comments something that you've done just by yourself, just for yourself. I mentioned in one of these readings that I want to take myself to the movies by myself, never done it before. I have gone to a cafe before, I have had lunch by myself before, I've had a coffee, I've people watched before, I've gone to the library, read a book before, all those things. What is it that soothes your soul that you've done before by yourself or something you plan to do? Pop that in the comments for you to go in the drawer for the monthly March reading. I just kicked my table and it moved. And thank you very much for tuning in. Be kind to others, my darling, but especially be kind to yourself because you're the only magical you. Take care. See you next time. Peace out.